понимаю, что у нас сейчас с вами э, шикарная возможность услышать профессора Шигео Охта. Он является вообще открывателем и инициатором интереса к водородной терапии. И организаторы, мы с большой благодарностью это отмечаем, нашли возможность значит, пригласить его в виде значит, онлайновской лекции, онлайновского выступления. Пожалуйста. Hello, I'm Shinya Ota from Japan. I'm a professor emeritus of Nippon Medical University, Tokyo, and visiting professor of Juntendo University, Tokyo. And I'm serving the honorary president of the Japanese Biomedical Society for Molecular Hydrogen. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the committee members of this con Congress uh, to, uh, for giving me opportunity to present our recent work uh, um, as a pioneer of hydrogen medicine. I will be giving a talk titled The Wide-Ranging Effect of Hydrogen on Patient with Serious Disease and Healthy People from Animal Experiment to Clinical Trials. I began to study molecular hydrogen in January 2005 and published the first paper in Nature Medicine in May 2007. Hydrogen here means molecular hydrogen or hydrogen gas. Its chemical formula is H2. The title of the paper is Hydrogen Act as a Selective Therapeutic Antioxidant Against Cytotoxic uh, Oxygen Radicals. Uh, since then, many scientists and around the world have shown interest in hydrogen and performed research from various aspects. Uh, since then, over 17 years, more than 2,000 articles have been published around the world. The left panel shows the number of the publication per each year, showing an increase in the number of the publication. And this slide shows the early result of our research. Uh, hydrogen radical generates the culture cells by the phantom reaction. The hydrogen radical is almost oxidizing and destroys the cell. In the right panel, um, green and red dot uh, indicate live and dead cell respectively. In the absence of hydrogen, in the culture medium, most cells died within one hour by the hydrogen radical. But in the presence of hydrogen, in the cultured medium, most cells survived against um, hydrogen radical. I was really surprised to see the result of the power of hydrogen. This slide shows selective reduction of hydrogen. Different type of reactive oxygen species loss can be visualized using fluorescent dye, uh, specific to each loss. Uh, hydrogen in the media did not change the level of superoxide, nitric oxide, or hydrogen peroxide uh, within the culture cell. Hydrogen reduced the level of hydrochirurgical as shown in the right panel, this result is of great important importance because superoxide and nitric oxide and hydro, uh, hydrogen uh, peroxide um, uh, shows uh, a very important physical beneficial role as a signaling molecules. This means while hydrogen does not decrease physiological loss hydrogen reduce cytotoxic hydrochirurgicals. Uh, but a serious question remains for a long time. The fundamental question is hydrogen should not react without a catalyst. 
It is unlikely that hydrogen would have such a pronounced effect in living organisms. In fact, in aqua solution, hydrogen reacts with hydrogen radicals, but it is much slower than reactions in living cells. Uh, this year, a Chinese group published a paper showing that the hydrogen, hydrogen target is oxidized perfume and the hydride of uh, oxide porphyrin, uh, porphyrin act as a catalyst. Uh, porphyrins are abundant and various types of porphyrin exist inside and outside cells, uh, including mitochondria, hemoglobin, myoglobin, P450, and the NOS, a uh, nitric oxide synthesis. Uh, there are so many ways to consume hydrogen. Inhale to hydrogen gas, drink hydrogen water, supplement to generate hydrogen in stomach, inject or I drop hydrogen saline, transfer hydrogen through the skin from hydrogen bath or hydrogen cosmetics. In addition, uh, production of hydrogen by intestinal bacteria is maybe useful. <coughs> Uh, various publications have revealed multiple functions of hydrogen. Notably, no adverse effects were found as far as publications were concerned. Hydrogen has beneficial effect on healthy people and patients with various diseases. Uh, we, we believe that mission of hydrogen medicine is to address unresolved issues such as post-cardiac arrest, advanced cancer, metabolic syndrome, infectional diseases, and dementia. Uh, first of all, uh, I will introduce its effect on ischemic reperfusion injury caused by excess oxidative stress. It is especially difficult to reintegrate into society after cardiac arrest. The paper in Nature Medicine showed that inhaling hydrogen gas reduced the brain damage. One day after the ischemia reperfusion, clear results can be seen. White area uh, shows uh, um, dead neuron area. When rat inhaled hydrogen gas, there is almost no white area in their brain. The uh, result was really clear. Next, we conducted a randomized clinical study on cerebral infarction. Uh, 25 patients received inhaled 3% hydrogen gas uh, for one hour, uh, twice per day, and 25 patient received only conventional medicine. NIH stroke, con uh, clinical scale, and MRI shows improvement. And rehabilitation can be carried out smoothly by inhaling hydrogen gas. Uh, during the cardiac arrest, blood flow is cut off, causing damage to the brain. As a result, it is very difficult to uh, difficult for people to return to normal life after cardiac arrest, and some people become bedridden. Uh, therefore, I focus on brain function after cardiac arrest. In our experiment, we are able to measure the motor memory and the motor activity of rat. Surprisingly, that the inhaled hydrogen did not experience a significant of disease. In, in brain function and also uh, hydrogen um, maintain the motor activity. Uh, this clinical study was a multiple multi -e center randomized placebo control double blind trial. Uh, this is the most reliable method. I summarize the result in a graph. Mortality rate was reduced uh, by less than half. 
and the number of the patient without a sequel rate and no after effect uh, were uh, more than doubled. To be honest, we are really surprised by this result. Hydrogen was a serious impact on life and death. Let's move on to metabolic syndrome. This slide shows that drink hydrogen water can suppress ability in DBDB mice, which cannot regulate their appetite and overeat, inducing the uh, obesity and uh, diabetes. Importantly, control hydrogen mass ate the same amount of food and drank, drank the same amount of water. Furthermore, control mouse and hydrogen mice behaved with the same locomotor activity. A drink of hydrogen water reduced body fat, blood glucose, uh, blood insulin, and blood glycerol. This indicates hydrogen and stimulate energy metabolism. And the following slide shows the result of randomized double blind placebo control clinical study with uh, sub analysis in the oxidative stress enhancement uh, group. And drink hydrogen water reduced BMI, uh, total fat area, hip waist circumference. This result have have been followed by several studies from the, uh, the other uh, laboratory. And most recently, a meta-analysis paper published in this year. And let's move on the issue of dementia. The challenge of Alzheimer's disease is one of the most serious concerns. The strong, strongest risk is aging meaning multiple causes can lead to the disease. On the other hand, hydrogen has multiple functions, including antioxidant, anti-inflammation, anti-cell death, and stimulate the uh, energy uh, metabolism. Therefore, we consider that the hydrogen may improve or prevent Alzheimer's disease. And for this purpose, we co um, construct the dementia model mice, feed them with hydrogen water and examine their cognitive index using y maze analysis. Hydrogen water was provided for six months from a 14 month old and 18 month old. And the decline in memory was suppressed by hydrogen water. No hydrogen with hydrogen and wild type. Uh, furthermore, hydrogen water suppressed neurodegeneration in the hippocampus. Okay. We can see the clear result here. That is a hippocampus area. Next, we conducted randomized placebo controlled clinical trial in subjects with mild cognitive impairment, a pre-dementia stage. The subject drank 300 milliliters of hydrogen water for one year. We tested ADASCOG, uh, which is the most reliable method of accessing uh, cognitive states. When focusing on sub-analysis of a subject with APO4 carrier, uh, this is a strong risk factor uh, for dementia. Hydrogen significantly improved uh, symptom, sim improved symptom in subject with mild cognitive impairment. And when compared the result to approve the drug, hydrogen was more effective. And recently, eight patients with Severe Alzheimer's disease in had 3% hydrogen gas 
twice a day for one hour, uh, for six months. Continue performance improved significantly after six months. Yeah, that is an improvement. And the effect was uh, continued for half a year uh, without um, hydrogen as a follow-up. This suggests hydrogen has an effect on movement, improving the disease, but not only temporarily reducing the symptoms. Uh, furthermore, uh, we uh, examined active neurons by using tensor diffusion imaging uh, system using MR. This is an improvement uh, after half a year and uh, continued the uh, effect for half year and maybe uh, one year or so. And we can see the increase of active neuron and continue to the improvement for half year and uh, half year and one year. And finally, uh, I would like to introduce uh, the molecular mechanism only briefly by which hydrogen exert its multi, uh, multiple functions. The pathway to suppress the expression of inflammatory, uh, inflammatory cytokines and the pathway to activate energy metabolism. This diagram uh, shows a pathway by which hydrogen exert multiple functions, including heliptosis, uh, which is uh, a cell death type, and uh, uh, energy metal increase of uh, energy metal and the suppression of inflammation by the very complicated pathway. And the uh, huge areas remains unresolved. And this is our group. Uh, thank you for your attention. I would appreciate if you would be interested in hydrogen medicine and participate in the research and application. Uh, thank you very much. Um, see you sometime. Goodbye.